This whole look is inspired by Marilyn Monroe meets Julia Fox. Ooh. Julia. I am such a crush. Yes. Oh. She's just full chaotic good. My mom always used Dubonnet. <gasps> God, moms are so fucking By glam. Clinique. What perfume did your mom wear? My did mom wore Cher. Cher's yeah. perfume. <laughs> this character I played in Time Traveler's Wife, David Nutter, the director, was talking to me about how mm. she's like the memory come to life. How we all have these glamorous memories of like our mom sweeping through a room on the way to a dinner and you could just smell her perfume as her yeah. dress disappeared around the corner. Oh. And all of that imagery was what we built a net oh, around. I picked a specific perfume that I wore every day on set. When I walked into a room, everyone could kind of smell that yeah. it was a net showing up. But that's so true for me of almost all my characters is they have their own perfume perfume because scent is such a trigger for memory and feeling for people and myself as an actor. When I smell it, I have a smell that is Annette, I have a smell that's Theo Crane, I have a smell that is Erin Green. I just know for myself it's part of the routine. You show up and like your whole day is with you and you, like there was traffic or your coffee was cold or you know, your kid needed the 21 small fruit kebabs for snack. Transitioning your focus from that to the person you're playing to a net. Mm -hmm. Like there's a lot of different ways to do that. Some people do it through meditation. And for me, the best way is just a series of practical actions, like mm -hmm. the right scent, mm -hmm. the book I'll read on set or the music I listen to, the things I choose to talk about in the makeup trailer, right. just so I can use my prep time as my prep time. Right. But it doesn't get me in my head. And some people have a getting out of character process of oh. cleansing themselves after a show. I don't have that luxury because generally right. when I look at my phone after a show or after a day, I have like texts from the nanny, I have emails from the school. Well, that snaps you out of it. No, <laughs> right? I'm like, oh! What I have to do is spend my time protecting the artistic time. The rest of it will demand attention. If I don't protect the artistic time, then I'm doing myself a disservice. That's interesting. And I hope Someday I can explain that to my kids, that like to make time for art is self-care, right? Whatever that means to you. Do you want to like play in the backyard and make yes, mud pies? Yes, That almost makes yeah. me want to cry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I protect your art time. You know, go make a mess and if you mess up the dirt in the back and you're telling me that's something special, I'm not cleaning that up. That's yeah. your protected art space. That's I hope that makes really self-esteem. That's what I think it will do. I don't know. It also might just make a mess in my yard. Go and mess up. It's oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's mistakes. Screw up. Like, yeah. Mistakes, mistakes are the are only are, way you learn. Mistakes are a gift. Every single time. We were saying earlier, perfection is advertising, imperfection and mistakes are art. Mm.